The new Mirny 13 game event starts in World of Tanks on October 26th. Your main mission is to make it back alive. Each of you will have several vehicles to choose from for this mission. Hornet. You can easily see it's based on the AMX 1390. It's fast and has a five-shell autoloader, exactly what you need to destroy standard enemies during the initial stage. Cerberus is based on the Centurion Mark 71. It plays a versatile role in battle. It's reasonably fast, plays from a hold down position, has a high rate of fire, and causes critical damage more often. Goliath. It's built on the M103 chassis, but has a higher top speed and crossing capacity than the original vehicle. It performs tasks typical of a heavily armored tank, consistently causing high damage per shot and confidently deflecting shells with its turret. These three vehicles are available for you from the start. There are also two more tanks. Malachite. It's a versatile breakthrough vehicle based on the T-54. It has improved gun handling and accelerated repair for damaged modules. And finally, there's Grenadier, based on the T-49. Its main feature is auto-reloading howitzer gun with two shells. These two vehicles can be unlocked using gold for completing missions or as a part of a special offer. Also, you'll get additional rewards for completing missions coins, badges, and a 2D style. Each tank can be equipped with three unique consumables. There are six of them to choose from, four personal and two team consumables. The former provide a bonus only to your vehicle, while the latter provides a bonus to the entire team. The vehicle can also be made stronger during the battle. A special cluster of energy may appear after you destroy an enemy. When you pick it up, your vehicle will get a random boost. They are individual for each tank. But most importantly, destroyed enemies drop a special matter. It's called Miriam. Your main objective is to collect it within the time limit and bring it to Magnus, a collector permanently marked on the map. Collecting Miriam is not easy. In Mirni 13, you shouldn't separate from the group. The team should coordinate their actions. Think through your routes and use the updated in-battle communication system to increase your chances. Also, create platoons. A platoon of five players can be created in Mirni 13. This will make the fights easier, and you will be able to fill the collector faster. After Magnus is filled, all surviving players should gather around it. Those who don't make it to Magnus before the time runs out will be destroyed. If at least one player manages to activate Magnus before time is up, the transition to the next phase will occur. The destroyed team members will be respawned. However, they'll respawn without boosts, Miriam, and half their HP. Those who activated Magnus will retain their Miriam. The more matter you collect during the current phase, the simpler it will be during the next phase. To complete the mission successfully, you'll have to go through several phases. Surviving every subsequent phase is more difficult. Firstly, each phase, Magnus changes its location on the map, and it requires more matter for the transition to a new phase. Secondly, Mirni 13 is unique in every parallel dimension. The deeper you go into the rabbit hole, the more the thick fog envelops the town and its surroundings. Visibility drops as a result. There are three difficulty levels in this game event. The first level consists of only three phases. The second and third levels have four faces. To unlock the next level, you need to win twice on the current level. Also, the enemies become stronger with each difficulty level. In Mirni 13, you'll face truly dangerous opponents. The most common of them are guards. They appear in groups in particular areas if you or someone from your team go there. These areas are marked on the map. Among them, you may encounter different creatures, alphas. With each phase, they will become stronger and more numerous. Additionally, there are enemies who can randomly appear. For example, hedgehogs. They are ball-shaped, self-propelled bombs. They'll try to get close to your tank and cause damage by exploding. 
However, there's good news. They need only one hit to be destroyed. Another type of enemy always appears randomly. They're called Hunters, special vehicles that will constantly chase you. No matter where you are, they will find you. There are also enemies who won't chase you. They're called Mosquitoes. They're stationary vehicles stuck in an unknown substance. They attack everyone in their field of view and cause high damage. You'll also encounter Rabbits. They are small and agile tanks that will try to run away when they see your team. They contain a lot of Miriam. But be careful. You might stray from the group while chasing them. You can't survive on your own in Mirni 13. The worst that can happen is meeting the immortal. You can't destroy it. You can't cause damage to it or break its external or internal modules. Its aura burns the matter you've collected. And as soon as you run out of Miriam, the aura starts burning your vehicle hit points. The indicator on the mini-map shows how close it is to you. Be vigilant and don't get caught in its sights. It will hurt. Being in Mirni 13 isn't good for commanders. They need some time to recover after each battle. If you don't want to wait, you can skip the wait using credits. But remember, every subsequent commander recovery within 24 hours will cost more. By the end of the battle, you'll receive credits as well as combat and free experience, all while training your commander. The amount of credits and XP, in addition to commander training, depends on the difficulty level you selected and the number of phases completed in battle. If you want to train your commander faster, you can purchase training boosters. You'll get coins for every level the commander reaches. Malachite and Grenadier will earn you more coins. You can spend them on various valuable items, but most importantly, on the unique 3D styles for the AMX 1390, Centurion 7-1. M103, T54, and T49. You'll also get unique crew members in addition to the styles. They have enough XP to train three skills or perks. These crew members can be assigned to any role in any vehicle regardless of its type and nation. You can also purchase four awesome 3D styles using gold. The styles are for the Panther 2, E50, E50M, and Leopard 1. Additionally, you will be able to discover mysterious testimonies in battle. They will appear on a special page in the event garage. Study them to find out what happened in Mirni 13. Commanders, your mission is incredibly difficult. You will have to face new enemies and overcome your fear. Never act alone. Always stay close to your group, and together, you can win. Welcome to Mirni 13, and good luck.